Homes of drug testing kits purchased online and in drugstores have more than doubled to $6 billion last year, but some critics say it invades a child's privacy and treats them like criminals. Here to discuss the topic is Mason Dukacek of TestMyScene.com and Chris Crane, who is Executive Director of Students for Sensible Drug Policy. Mason, first of all, tell me how this works and, and why you think it's a good idea. Thank you. Ben Franklin once said, wise is the man who fixes his roof before it rains. And our experience has been that from the time kids are little, they're all taught, just say no to drugs. The problem is no one tells them what to say after that, and that's when all the pressure gets piled on, and I'm convinced gets worse. So we want to give every teen a socially acceptable excuse. In the words, my parents test me, stop pushy peers in their tracks. And additionally, we find that children who have broken the bond of trust with their parents and made poor choices as it relates to substance abuse in the past, have been given a new way to regain their parents' trust by proving that they're no longer using. All right. How about it, Chris Crane? What's wrong with that idea? Well, as a matter of fact, these tests break down valuable bonds of trust between parents and their children. With the message that these tests send to kids is that, I don't trust you, uh, I don't respect your privacy, I don't believe a word you say, and I expect you to lie to me. And that breaks down the valuable bonds of trust that need to exist between a parent and a child if, the, if a child is going to stay free of drugs and if they're going to feel comfortable talking to their parents about drugs. Otherwise, they're going to get their information from their friends at school. That's certainly not something we want to be encouraging. All right, I'll, I'll let you respond, Mason. Well, I believe that it all starts with a parent-child contract. Basically, when parents sit down and they explain what the rules are and what the guidelines are and provide a means that, hey, we're going to be random testing, and when we do, um, you're going to be rewarded for resisting peer pressure, and there's consequences when you don't. And if it's done that way, kids should feel no more uncomfortable about taking a home drug test than, than parents feel when they go to take a drug test at a job or to get a job. Well, it's, I mean, what about, really the, about, what about this idea, though, that, you, that you're, you're telling your kid, I don't trust you? I believe that trust should be earned, not bestowed. And I think that as far as an invasion of privacy, I find it hypocritical to condemn home drug testing as an invasion of privacy on one hand, while ignoring parents' right to privacy by trying to dictate what they can and can't do in the privacy of their own home to protect their family. And Chris, so, my, question I mean, is, someone's, my question to you, someone's Chris, really for is, privacy. My question to you, Chris, is this, and it, it's a very simple question. Isn't this an issue that's just too dangerous. I mean, the, the, the possibility that your kid might get somehow exposed to drugs. Isn't that something that's so important that maybe you need to bruise that kid's personal space to find out? Well, it's clearly a very important issue, and I'm certainly not here to try and uh, tell parents how to raise their kids. What I, would, what I would suggest the parents do is check with the healthcare professionals on this one. Talk to the people at the American Academy of Pediatrics who have come out strongly in opposition to parents drug testing their kids precisely for the reasons that it breaks down that bond of trust between parents and child. If you're looking for, for advice on how to go about the very difficult issue of dealing with drugs in your kids, I strongly suggest you take your advice from the healthcare professionals, healthcare professionals and not from some guy with an MBA who's trying to make money off of selling drug tests. Mason, we've got to leave it right there. Chris, thank you very much. Good discussion. I, I think we'll leave it up to the parents to decide. Congress has approved the idea. If you appreciate SSDP's work to get our message out through major news outlets like Fox News, please consider making a contribution today. Remember, we don't sell drug testing kits to keep our organization alive. We rely on contributions from supporters like you. Visit ssdp.org donate to make a donation today. Thank you.